Find out the erroneous part in the sentence given below. Honestly speaking, I like him not because he is handsome and charming, but that he is exceedingly kind. The error over here is in option D, okay, but that he is exceedingly kind. This is wrong. Why? This is known as parallelism, okay. When two reasons are being given, okay, when two reasons are being told or given, both the reasons, that is reason 1 and reason 2, must have the same format before it or even the entire format of the reason has to be same like for example the tenses and everything okay words associated with them for example honestly speaking i like him not because he is handsome and charming so because is over here to give the reason this is the reason he is handsome and charming not because he is handsome and charming but uh, sorry but is not the wrong word over here that is a wrong word over here okay but because he is exceedingly kind so that is the wrong word over here instead of that it has to be because okay because he, so because is over here giving reason here also because should be there to give the reason so answer is option d in the following question one part of the sentence may have an error find out which part i need to go i need to get to the house in lansdowne road by 10 o'clock the error is in part a the word in is wrong i need to get to the house on lansdowne road okay so in Lansdowne Road means whatever uh, stones and uh, tar is there inside that tar and uh, stones the house is there. Okay, when we talk about in, when we say on Lansdowne Road that means the house is over here somewhere. Okay, near the road or sometimes you can even say at Lansdowne Road. Okay, both are fine. But in is completely wrong. So error is in option A. Like the rest of Chennai, our apartment has a water crisis. Now we have to fill in the first blank. The first blank is over here. When the secretary suggested installing another bore well, the president did not agree dash him. Answer is option B with him. Okay. With gives a relation between uh, two people or two objects like sort of uh, whether we are tagging along. Okay. If two things are going in the uh, same way or tagging along, if two things are together. Okay. That togetherness is tried to be told by with this togetherness is. So, if the president agrees with him or against him, okay, if the president agrees with him, that means both of them are together, president did not agree with him, okay, so he is trying to say something, the president is not accepting it, so this togetherness which is there, okay, regarding the suggestion which is there, it is always told by the with, okay, for generally gives you a goal or purpose, on means on top of something or something like that, and two gives you the direction. But the togetherness relation which is there, it is only denoted by the word with, preposition with. The president did not agree with him. Whenever we try to fight, we try to fight with the person we are, or uh, we try to fight against the person. Okay, so with gives a relation between two people and tell us whether they are to, uh, tells us about the togetherness of two people. Fill in the second blank. Last week, the executive committee failed to agree dash a common plan of action. Agree on a common plan of action. Okay. So, we generally try to agree on something. Okay. Let's agree on uh, getting a table for our classroom. Let's agree on getting a new teacher for our classroom or something like that. Okay. For, agree for a common point of we do not agree for something. Okay. Whenever we agree uh, for something that means already we are agreeing for this and this to happen fine so a proper action is being given whenever we try to use for so here no action is given that is only here we are saying that planning stage is there like a common plan of action so an object is given common plan is an object common plan of action is an object so whenever we agree for something we generally for means we are going for agree for buying a scooter so action is more denoted over here but over here directly an object is given so for cannot be used okay agree with a common plan of action means what fail to agree with a common plan of action that means everyone is giving some plan of actions and they are not agreeing with them okay or each other togetherness is been told by with which is not required over here agree to a common plan of action now this looks possible that fail to agree to agree fail to agree to a common plan okay so two times two is common so much better option is to agree on a common plan of action fill in the third blank the contractor needed the approval of the executive committee 
dash he could start installing another borewell after before again because answer is but obvious option b before he could start installing borewell because we need approval before you start the work fill in the fourth blank as he had misappropriated the funds on an earlier occasion the president did not approve dash his proposal in to of with did not approve of his proposal okay did not approve of what of his proposal did not approve with his proposal shows togetherness okay generally togetherness which is there okay togetherness which is there it is between people here it is president and the proposal okay it is an object over here so with is not much suitable over here so how to show the relation between two pair two things president did not general word which is used is of okay president did not approve of his proposal okay president did not approve in his proposal means what inside the proposal there is something or inside the proposal president did not approve so that is not the case over here okay so meaning completely changes president did not approve to his proposal this also looks fine that right? on an earlier occasion president did not approve to his proposal but over here much appropriate is for uh, off okay he did not approve to give the direction did not approve to his proposal so when we write did not give approval to his proposal when we say approval okay uh, noun okay approval is a noun so it did not give approval to his proposal along with approval we can use this noun we can use the word to but when we use directly the verb approve did not approve of his proposal of is used okay for the four sentences s1 to s4 paragraph below sentences s1 and s4 are given from the options p q and r choose appropriate sentences for s2 and s3 respectively s1 why do birds sing s2 s3 s4 the length and complexity of the song give information about the health of the bird now the options are sentence p birds sing to one other birds to stay off their territory option uh, q is you might assume that birds sing because they are happy option r is birds also sing to find a healthy mate now over here why do birds sing so these two also means what it is an addition so this will not come first so these two there is a chance that one of this sentence can come immediately at statement number 2 we feel that okay this one uh, sentence p is a general sentence and can be written and it looks like an answer to why do birds sing but this is much more uh, suitable why because first the wrong assumption that what we assume is given that you might assume that birds sing because they are happy this is what our assumption is there but no that is not the assumption the correct answer is birds sing to one other birds to say of their territory like for example whenever we are uh, asking something okay uh, what is what is this shape you might think that this is a rectangle but it is not a rectangle it is a quadrilateral we try to say that way we try to say that what is the wrong answer first we tell okay that you might think this is the answer but that is not the answer the correct answer is this same pattern is over here first sentence q will come that you might assume that the bird why do birds sing is the question given so we might formulate an answer in our mind and then the author is telling that you might assume that the birds sing because they are happy but actually that is not the case sentence p is the answer birds sing to one other birds to stay of their territory okay so and next birds also sing to find a healthy mate there is no uh, room for this sentence so answer is qp option b the sentences b to e are in jumbled order choose the correct order in which they should be placed now that means statement a and statement f must be the fixed statements okay a and f and we have to arrange the sentences between them while preparing for the group discussion it is important to train yourself to be a good listener writing essays on a variety of topics is also a good way of developing thought structure and presenting it logically now if you check out the options over here the first sentence can be c e or d okay so b is not the first sentence fine so we'll ignore it therefore develop the patience to listen attentively keeping in mind that everyone has something valuable to say therefore it is sort of a conclusion it must be conclusion to a point which has been made previously okay so c before c something must come okay so there is a chance that a might come because in a we are talking about to be a good listener and so what they are saying therefore develop the patience to listen attentively so there is a possibility that c comes immediately after a okay it is equally important to remember to articulate your point of view 
in a way that is easy for others to comprehend. Now, this is also an important sentence because check out these words equally important. If you check out statement A, it is given. It is important to train yourself. So an important point is talked about over here and it is equally important means another important point is being talked over here. So either after A, D can come or after C, D can come. Both the options are possible, but we'll check out the next sentence. But before that, inculcate the good habit of structuring your thoughts and presenting them logically. If you observe carefully here, they are saying inculcate the good habit of structuring your thoughts and presenting them logically. And a way to do it has been given in B. Writing essays is a good way of de developing thought structure and presenting it logically. So after E, B comes. Okay, It is possible only in option C and option D. Out of that option D is more logical. Let us see why. After C comes D, then E and then B. Now E and B are fixed. Fine. Now we know E and B come together. Let us check out for C and D. Here we are talking about listening, being a good listener. Okay. And immediately what they are talking about more about listening is that you should develop the patience to listen attentively because everyone has something to stay, say. So this point gets completed in A and C regarding listening. And then equally next important point is started that you have to articulate your way, articulate your point of view in a way that is easy for others to comprehend, it is, which is a completely new point and not related to listening. So C, D, E, B is a much more logical order than D, E, B, C. Answer is option D. Use the appropriate word to complete the sentence. The convict was told that he would dash early next morning. Now the answer is option D. Why it is option D? Let us see. Over here, we are talking about the uh, the convict was told. Okay, that means already the convict was told something. Okay, that he would be hanged early next morning. So we want something in the past tense. So hung and hanged are two options that are available. So which of the two? Because hangs and hanging is present tense. Okay, these are present. So these gets uh, these get cancelled out. So option C and D are the two things that we need. Next, wh what is the answer? C or D? Answer is D. Why? Because this is an exception. Please pay attention. This is an exception. When it comes to hung, hung is also past tense and hanged is also past tense. Okay. Hang is the proper verb, H-A-N-G and both of them are past tense. But when do we use hanged? We use hanged only when we are killing someone. Okay. Giving the capital punishment. When we are killing someone, we, have, we use the word hanged. And when we use or when we suspend something, like an object or something like that by a rope or something like that we use the word hung okay in the past tense if you are trying to kill someone by giving him uh, like hanging him by the rope or something like that then the word hanged has to be used and not hung you cannot hung, use hung over there but you have to uh, i mean you want to hang some clothes or something like that in the past tense we'll be using hung so answer over here is be hanged please remember this exception